G'day rugby fans and welcome back to Rugby Asia Channel. My name's Grant Buzeval, this is my colleague Rob Naylor. We're down here at the waterfront in Hong Kong. We thought we'd come back down here because the last time we saw Semi, he was messing around in the Hamptons, San Fran and New York. So we thought we'd come down to this iconic, beautiful waterfront and tell you about what's coming up. Now Rob, the club rugby season's just finished here in Hong Kong, but there's plenty to look forward to, isn't there? Mate, there certainly is. It's uh, not hard to look forward to anything from the previous weeks. But, mate, uh, we've got the Hong Kong Sevens week coming up, starting with the Kowloon Tens and the Football Club Tens. We then move to the Friday, Saturday and Sunday, where it's the pinnacle, the Hong Kong Sevens, which I'm sure most people who attend probably won't remember. And they'll have to recap by looking at highlights on TV. And after that, we have the Lions, don't we? Mate, the Lions, it's a big event, obviously starting in Hong Kong here against the Barbars. And, um, mate, I heard you uh, caught up with an old mate of yours a few weeks ago. That's right, we, uh, an old schoolmate of mine, Warren Gatland, uh, he's gone on to become coach of the Lions. Look at me, who's laughing now? Uh, yeah, we went up to the British consulate to meet Warren Gatlin and the British Lions management on their way down to Australia on a reconnaissance mission. Let's have a look at that footage right now. Any minute now. G'day rugby fans and welcome back. We're here at uh, the British Consulate with Warren Gatlin, the head coach for the, the British Lions for the 2013 tour. Um, Warren, welcome to Hong Kong. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the purpose of this trip. Why are you in Hong Kong now? Well, it's the final leg of a recce. We've uh, been all over Australia to the venues, looking at uh, hotels, uh, training, training grounds, um, the stadiums, and just making sure really taking out the the heads of department really of the tour just making sure we get everything right logistically before we go on tour because the hardest thing about this uh, trip with the Lions is that we actually sort of assemble and then hop on the plane and fly to Hong Kong for the first game so we've just got to make sure we get everything right um, off the field in terms of preparation. Yeah. Um, what's the strategic importance of this first game in Hong Kong? Well it's, it's massive, I mean first of all the guys that get selected for their first game it's uh, their opportunity to put themselves in the shop window and uh, put their hands up to you know, everyone's going to aim to get selected for that first test so for us I see that first week together here in Hong Kong uh, it's going to be hugely important in terms of uh, bonding as a team doing a few social events uh, but training is important as well and then hopefully getting ourselves uh, off to a good start against the Barbarians. It's going to be a tough game we're looking forward to it uh, a you know, great cultural thing for us to be here in, in Hong Kong as well. So, really excited about it. And you know, if we can get a full house at, uh, at the stadium, it'd be fantastic. Brilliant. Um, do you think you've got the facilities in Hong Kong that you need to achieve all those goals from the, the social and the training perspective? <laughs> yeah, we've uh, had a good look around. You've had, spent a couple of days here. So, we went out last night, had a fabulous meal. We looked uh, today at uh, some of the training grounds and uh, and went to the, the um, uh, Hong Kong. Um, football stadium as well and uh, uh, so yeah we're very pleased with um, how we've been looked after. I mean the hospitality has been absolutely outstanding and uh, the facilities for us you know, be great for that week. So you know June we know how hot it's going to be and humid and uh, you know hopefully it doesn't pour down with rain as well. Yeah. Um, and as a Kiwi who, uh, who, who's been there and scored a try against the Lions in 93 and a, and a great win for Waikato, how does it feel to, to take the Lions down under and take on the Australians uh, for you? Yeah, as a Kiwi, you always want to beat the Australians. So, um, you know, incredibly proud, uh, really excited about the about the opportunity. And um, you know, I know that uh, having been involved in 2009 and in South Africa as an assistant, um, you realise what it means to the players. To you know, they're very proud to play for their their home nation, but the the pinnacle of of anyone's uh, career in the Northern Hemisphere is to play for the Lions. So, uh, I, I understand that, but I also know what it's like to play against the Lions as well. So. Um, been on the other side, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity because it only comes around every sort of 12 years, whether you're touring Australia or South Africa or New Zealand. So um, you, you know that uh, whoever you're playing against, uh, this is their, their opportunity. So you know they're going to be tough matches, but uh, it's uh, you know it's a tour that hopefully we we've got the, the quality of players that are good enough to go down there and, and win a test series. Cool. Uh, last question. Um, what uh, message do you have for the residents of Hong Kong and our Rugby Asia fans about this upcoming match and um, getting themselves to the match? Well, I think it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, hopefully a, a really exciting match. Uh, quality Barbarians team. Uh, you're going to see a, a Lions team that are going to be you know, incredibly motivated to want to get off to a good start. And you know, um, I think we could, couldn't think of a better place to come and start the tour off here in Hong Kong. It's the first time that the Lions have played um, outside of the uh, 
sort of t uh, away from the touring country they're going to, you know, going to Australia for the first time and, and opportunity. So hopefully it's a great success. So people come down and get, in, get into the stadium, and I'm pretty sure this will be a great game of rugby. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, good luck with uh, the rest of the trip thank in, you uh, much. in June. Cheers, thank you. And uh, Rob, leading up to this festival week of uh, rugby in Hong Kong before the Sevens, we've got two Tens tournaments, haven't we? We've got the Football Club Tens, that's a great tournament. Oh, yeah. And before that, we've got the Kowloon Tens, a one-day tournament. And there's a very special team that's coming across from Laos for that. Tell us about them. Mate, you're right, the Laos rugby team, they came last year, um, obviously right in the back of the success of the Rwandan rugby team who came two years ago. The Laos team put in the effort off the pitch, uh, raised some money, did a lot of training, as you see in the clip, and they made the pilgrimage last year. Had a great, uh, had a great trip, and they're back this year to see what they can see if they can take another title. Sweet, let's roll the tape. ซ้อมอาทิตย์นึงประมาณ 3-4 ก็ซักลายว่าแถวนั้นก็รถเที่ยวกับส่วนใหม่อยู่บ้านเขาพ่อแม่สลายก็บ่อยากให้ลิ้นเพราะว่ามันเป็นกีฬาที่ว่าห
กีฬาของพวกเขารักบี้ของพวกเขานักกีฬารักบี้ของพวกเขาจะสามารถสร้างซื่อเสียงให้ประเทศชาติเราได้แบบได้แบบว่าหน้าภาพคุ้มใจระดับโบได้น้อยหน้าไปจากกีฬาประเทศอื่นและหรือว่ากีฬาประเภทอื่นๆในประเทศลาวอยากให้หลายๆฝ่ายช่วยสนับสนุน All right, so thanks for joining us today on Rugby Asia Channel down here at the Hong Kong waterfront. Uh, there's a lot of good rugby coming up. There's sevens, there's tens, there's fifteens, there's the Lions, there's the Asian Five Nations. Really, is going to be a good summer of rugby. Mate, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. And um, I'd just like to say a sad farewell to all our Satana fans because probably this is the last time I'll be on the show. Um, <laughs> but thanks for watching and um, see you in Hong Kong for the Lions. Cheers. See you later. <laughs>